you're going to see what it's like to spend one day in Safari World. So stay tuned after the intro. Before we get started, if you want to subscribe to see any more content, go ahead and smash the like button. What's really cool about Safari World is that you're going to see and be able to touch and feel some of these animals. And it's really great for kids. They're going to love this kind of stuff because it's not very many places in the world that you're going to get the entire experience of all of this, of what you're going to see and do in one place. So Safari World is massive. It is super huge and it's going to take you the entire day to see every single thing and be able to do every single event and ride the safari around the whole entire park. You get a chance to feed giraffes, see rhinos, uh, flamingos, different birds will fly and land on you and you'll see and um, there's there's so much to do and see. It is really really amazing and the food and the water and stuff inside the park is not an outrageous fee. It's actually pretty reasonable for considering that you're inside this park. So Go ahead and take a chance. It's really one of those top things you got to see and do in Thailand, especially if you're here with friends and family. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you some video footage that I've taken um, while I was there in Safari World and I was just following my friends, family around and uh, just uh, kind of enjoying the whole trip. So some tips for Safari World that I wanted to go over is actually you should buy your tickets with a travel agency. And um, the travel agency that I used was the Yellow Star. And um, so when you go to the park, it's about 1200 baht per person. And it's going to be, I think it's 900 baht for kids. But if your kid's under two, they're free. 
And if you go with like a service such as like Yellow Star, and I'll uh, I'll shoot a link in the description below, but um, I I just uh, I was researching some prices for my friend. I knew he was coming, so I started uh, shopping around a bit. And with Yellow Star, we got the adults for 900 baht. That included the uh, aquarium side and also the safari world side. And it also included a lunch buffet, which actually wasn't that bad. And you're starving by noon and you're ready. You just got to refuel so that way you can chase the kids around the park more and snap some more cool photos. So that, and then to ride on the, um, the bus at the very end, or the, if you want to do it in the beginning or whatever, is 45 baht a person, which is very cheap. And it's about um, a 45 minute to one hour bus ride all the way around the park. And that's where you'll get to see the rhinos, you get to see zebras. And uh, if you went in the park before, you'll notice that it's pretty much just the backside of each um, exhibit that you'll be seeing. So it's actually pretty cool. A lot of the animals cohabitate together. So you get to, see, it's almost like you're really just like roaming around in the wild. So overall, Safari World was an amazing experience. And like I said before, I highly recommend it if you have children and family that are visiting. It is pretty hot to go outside, but like, uh, as I mentioned before as well is, you have so much vegetation and trees and everything. So you can take breaks. There's um, a couple of exhibits that have air conditioning and um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a little bit of room to kind of get a little bit more adventurous. There's a, um, there's a tunnel that you have to crawl through, very low, and then it pops up inside of the, um, the tiger exhibit and you, it's like a, a glass, like plastic room, plexiglass to room. And you're really like right in there while the cubs are just like playing around and stuff. And it's really something that you just don't really get a chance to um, see when you're going abroad and other places. So this is definitely one of the places that I highly recommend.